All right, so what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Nick Plays. It's your man, Rockstar Nick, and we are back with episode two on the, or part two, whatever you guys want to call it, <laughs> of L.A. Noir. Um, our the last episode, um, we solved our investigation case as a police officer. And uh, yeah, we're getting back into it, guys. So um, right now we're at a cut scene. And um, I didn't want you guys to miss any of the uh, nice, nice dialogue that they got going on here. So um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button um, and also hit that notification bell so you can know when the next video is coming out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Leave a comment down below on on which game you guys want me to play next. And uh, you dumb fucking sons of bitches. Get in this OK, we getting cussed at already. y'all. <laughs> Yeah, he gonna get a whooping. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. Didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two, Abbott and Costello? You're here for us, yes, sir. So it's the three fucking stooges, and you're here for us. Okay, he cuts one more time. I'm gonna whoop his butt. Okay. The, the Japanese <laughs> will do the world a favor and kill you quick. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps, Kelso, Merrill. Don't he look like? <laughs> Captain America, skinny Captain America, my character with the OCS white on. Skinny Captain Elliot America, man. There. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Eleven, Club One One One. Armed and dangerous. An honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no sitting on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope. Oh, look at him. He got flowers. He's about to go take to his girl. Okay. Or his mom. Either one. Code three. Take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, suspects are armed and dangerous. Oh, they armed. Roger, armed and dangerous. All right, let's go. It's so sensitive. Oh, shh. I almost hit the lady. Oh, me. All right, y'all, we here. Oh, they shooting at us. Dang, I'm surprised he didn't get shot off that bullet. Okay, so press A to open the trunk and retrieve the gun. All right, who want it first? He want it. Who's next? Ooh, headshot. Okay. Oh, I didn't drop my gun. Hold up, nah. How do I pick this up? Oh, man. There we go. Okay. Let me take cover over here. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. It is surrounded. Oh, you got to reload it. You ain't going to put one bullet in there? There you go. Got him. Got him. That's it? We got them all? I think we got him, Cole. Oh, we got him. All right, come on, bro. Let's go get the money. Come on. Oh, thank you. It's like, no. Anytime you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. Oh, he's just so scary. I'm getting a new partner, man. He's just too scary. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. What? He lying. <laughs> he lying. He's just too scary for me. First, he didn't want to start the investigation. Now, nah, he just don't 
when I had my back. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? I think he's upset. Don't know why. We supposed to be on the same team, but he's upset. All right. Warrants outstanding. Outstanding. Oh, y'all know nothing about that. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. No, oh, he Stop. dropped. Friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you all depends on which friend. I know that bum, Wendell Bauer. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. I'm on his head. Wendell Bauer. Stop. I'm on him. Get over here. You ain't getting away from me. Come here. Get over here. Get over here. Bauer, hold it right there. Dang, look how fast he just ran. Wow. Why are you shooting at him? He ain't did nothing. Wow. Duh. This is what y'all do back in the 40s. Oh, now you want to kick me? Okay. Wait till I get to you. What did you do? I, I just want to know what he did. Like, he just said, oh, yeah. I busted him a few a, a few years ago or something like that for something he did. So now you got to arrest him again just because you arrested him? He was just walking on the street. But he did run, though. I don't know why he ran. Oh yeah, ain't nowhere to go. He threw. Oh, oh, he just made me scream like a girl. Oh snap. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Don't you ever make me scream like that again? Get up. Get up. Bro, y'all just hear how he made me scream. <laughs> Make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? What did he do? Leave in the comment section if you guys know what he did. <laughs> Cause I don't know. They didn't say if he did anything. The Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! That was childish of me. I shouldn't have did that. Buyer, beware. There's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. 
The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Yeah, this was crazy. At least I came around the corner with my gun out. Just in LAPD, case. could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. All right, let's see what we can find on this guy. This is the cool part about this game. Like, the investigation part is just the coolest part. Just because of uh, finding out information and all this other kind of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So what I did learn is that you really have to read. So, and you have to pay attention because if you don't, when you ask questions, everything could be off. So this lady's name is C. Galetta and she got pearl earrings, apartment number. Okay. I guess 50 bucks was a lot back in the, uh, back in the, uh, what is it? Forties. All right. Nothing's on his hand. Where do you get shot at? Oh, it looks like in the, in the, in the chest area. All right. I don't see anything on his hands, so he should be good. He should be good. I think I see something shining right here. Yep, bullets. It's about five of them on the ground. Shell casings. These look like thirty twos. Got the gun. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagle says gun store's a couple blocks from here. No need. Okay, music is gone. Now I can go talk to the witness. Where is she at? There she is. Come here, lady. Yeah. I'm Officer Phelps. All right, and that is it for this part of the episode. If you guys liked it, leave the like. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can know when the next video is coming out. And yeah, uh, hopefully everyone has a blessed day and see you in the next episode.